I botched a hunt this morning. <laughs> now I'll explain here in a second what happened. So for the past two, three weeks, we've been setting up our trail cameras at a couple of different scrapes that we found along the field back behind our house. We set them up, as anybody would, uh, that has them, to try to figure out and identify what's coming into these scrapes and to see if we can, you know, maybe get down a good legal buck. What we found with the trail cameras being up is that we have a single buck or uh, two deer that look absolutely identical to each other. We're pretty certain it's just one. Uh, there's a, a pretty good sized 10 point running these scrapes, running the field. We keep seeing him. He's running on a 12 hour cycle. We've, he's coming in almost every morning at 8, 10 a.m. and almost every night at 8, 10 p.m. At least that's the time on the trail camera. Yesterday morning, I got up a little late, but my grandparents, the one uh, scrape is in the corner of the field directly behind me, and it's pretty much, you, we can see it essentially from our back porch. So my grandpa was out yesterday morning around 8 o'clock, and he said that he's 99% sure he saw a deer. He's not certain it was the 10 point, but he saw a deer come from where the scrape is. So yesterday morning at like 8, 10, he was up in the one corner. We figured today he'd be in the other corner. Or he'd be back in the uh, corner from yesterday and then work his way back to this back corner. So my plan was today, um, get up, be out here sometime around uh, 7, 10, 7, 20 ish and get comfortable here until, you know, 8, 10 when we suspect the deer is going to roll, roll through and then be able to put them down. So on my way back to the stand this morning, I think I left the house around, right around 7 o'clock. I got back here probably, I don't know, somewhere between 7.10 and 7.20. But on my way back, uh, I kicked up three doe. Here in the back corner, uh, the stand's probably like not even 200 yards away from where I'm sitting right now. Along the field, uh, our Amish neighbor, he planted some pumpkins, he planted some acorn squash, and he planted a bunch of corn. Along the edge of the field where the stand's at, there's a bunch of corn. And as I was coming down to the stand, I'm pretty sure these doe uh, were bedded down in the corn. And as I was coming down, I spooked them. Uh, I kicked them up and they took off. But I'm pretty sure they were bedded down in the corn. Knowing or assuming that they were doe, rather. Um, I kind of just ignored it, hopped up in the stand, and uh, sat there for a while waiting for 8 o'clock to roll through. My uh, bag glaring on me here. So, that didn't make it much better, did it? So, what happened? Uh, 8 o'clock rolls around. And I know rut's not fully in yet because archery just started. Um, cold weather here in Pennsylvania, at least our part of Pennsylvania here in uh, western Pennsylvania. It really just started to get cold, chilly rather. So they're not fully uh, in rut yet, but I'm 99% sure that I could smell, uh, I thought I could smell a buck at about 8 o'clock. 
probably my brain uh, playing tricks on me, but I could have swore I smelled um, the mustiness of a uh, decent sized mature buck uh, in rut. So I'm getting excited. I'm pretty pumped up. I'm thinking the plan is going to work out perfect. So 810 rolls around. No deer. 815, no deer. 820, no deer. At this point, the smell that I think I'm picking up on is starting to fade. 825, no deer. 830, no deer. 840, no deer. No nothing. So, like I said, it's starting to get pretty chilly. It's pretty cold this morning. And even though I'm bundled up and look like I weigh about 60 pounds more than I usually do right now, you know, I was starting to get cold. And with the shanty being here, we have a little space heater back behind me. I couldn't stop thinking about that space heater. So, 8.45 rolls around. Uh, I've kind of... Kind of didn't necessarily give up, but wasn't anticipating a deer to come through at that point. So I decided I was going to climb out of the stand and come down here to the shanty and warm up a little bit, smoke a pipe, and then head back up to the house. So I sit there a minute, listen, make sure I don't hear nothing. Make sure I don't smell anything. And I climb out of the tree stand. Now I figured if I was going to kick anything up, <coughs> it was going to be while I was getting out of the stand. But I didn't hear anything, so I got out of the stand, got out to the field, started walking down the field. I took probably, I don't know, 30 steps. And then I hear a deer break through the corn, down through the woods here, and all the way down to the little creek bottom. All I saw was the tail and its body, uh, the back end of its body, so I don't know if it was the 10 point or not, but I figured it was probably that 10 point. So in theory, had I awaited 5, 10, you know, maybe 15, 20 more minutes. That deer probably would have walked right into the scrape, which was just to the left of the stand. And I probably would have had a pretty good shot at that 10 point. So instead of making a video talking about how I uh, botched a hunt, I would instead be making a video right now about how I successfully uh, put down a 10 point buck. But that's not the case. So here we are. I know the morning's still young and I could have gone back to the stand and sat there just to see if he still came to a scrape because chances are he probably ended up, uh, would have came back to the scrape anyway, but I figure that's tomorrow's problem. We'll head back out here tomorrow. We'll try her again. I'll try to stick around in the stand a bit longer knowing, uh, the mistake from today and We'll see if uh, the result doesn't change tomorrow. I forgot to tell you what blend I was smoking. So, today, on Monday, a little package came in the mail. Something I've been waiting on for a while. I pre-ordered Witchthorn by Briar Fellowship, part of his Ravenwood collection. I'm Pretty sure he's released it before, but this is the first time I've ever tried it. Came out here yesterday and smoked a bowl of it. Uh, came out here today with the intent to smoke a bowl of it. It is an incredible blend. An incredible fall blend. Perfect for hunting, I think. 
personally, I think it's perfect for me. Uh, the tin note, when you first crack it open, this is what I get. I don't know if anybody else gets this, but this is what I get. Um, Nichols, the bread company, they used to, I'm sure they still do, I just haven't seen it in a while. They used to make uh, a little sweet treat called a maple twist roll. You could buy it. They sold it at Walmart and Giant Eagle, I think, too. My grandpa used to get it all the time. And I used to eat it quite a bit with them. That is exactly what Witchthorn smells like, in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't, it kind of has a little bit of a taste to it as well, uh, but mostly the taste that I get uh, is it's a Virginia Latakia and Cavendish blend. What I mostly get is the, the uh, Virginia's. I don't know if anybody else experiences this, but most Virginia blends that I've tried, uh, at least if it's, you know, mainly Virginia or heavily Virginia based, I get a mouth watering um, effect. Like my mouth just waters. So with this blend, when you're smoking it, I get a lot of the mouth watering uh, of the Virginia's and a lot of the smokiness of the Latakia. And there's uh, the creaminess of the Cavendish is definitely present. It mellows it out um, a good bit, but that's mostly what I pick up on is the smokiness of the Latakia and the mouth watering of the Virginias. And then there's a slight taste of the maple twist roll, but the smell is uh, the maple twist, twist roll uh, with the smokiness of the Latakia. So it's, it's a very good blend. It's a tremendous blend. If you have not tried it, I recommend trying it. Um, I don't know if it's available on his website. I think he sold out of it when he uh, put the pre-order up back at the beginning of September. Um, but it's pretty freaking good. And I'm smoking uh, out of my 336. There's the thumbnail. My Iwan Rees 336. I got this pipe uh, <coughs> a little dry in here. Uh, two years ago at Columbus at the pipe show. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing today. I'll probably be packing up here in a little bit and headed back to the house to game plan a better strategy for tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow I'll uh, be making a video with a nice 10 point laying next to me. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I uh, hope you enjoy this little uh, story time. I hope you guys are enjoying your pipes and tobacco and just living life, man. Living life, enjoying life. We'll see you guys later. Take care.